Let's find the limit of this question. Is it zero, positive infinity, negative infinity? Who knows what it is? Look at the denominator. When you divide by zero, we have a problem, and that occurs at x equals three. So x equals three is a vertical asymptote. So if you have some graph, this is zero, one, two, three, we're expecting some vertical asymptote here. Now what else do we know? Now try to visualize x being close to 3. Perhaps x is going to be 3.01, just slightly to the right of 3. So 3.000001 minus 3 is a very, very, very small number, a very small positive number, such as 0 0.00001. That very, very small number squared is still positive, but imagine the numerator now. The square root of that x value, which happens to be 3.000001, is going to be negative some number divided by a very, 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 very small number. So negative some number divided by a very, very small number is going to be negative some large number. Reasonable size number divided by a very small number, a positive number, is going to end up being uh, uh, infinity. So we have a negative sign in front of the infinity, so it's negative infinity is going to be the y value is going to be here. Now let's focus on the second case in which x is slightly to the left of 3. So suppose x is 2.999999 around here. What's going to happen? Are we going to get a y value that's infinity or negative infinity? So x is suppose it's 2.999999 minus 3 would be negative 0 0.1001. So negative, uh, very, very small number, squared, still ends up being positive. So it's going to be a very small positive number on the bottom, because when you square out a negative, it ends up being positive. We just said that x this time is slightly to the left, which is 2.999999. Negative square root of 2.999 is the reasonable size number. So negative sum number divided by ridiculously small number is still going to be negative infinity. So it's going to be here. When x is very, very close to 3, the y value should be down here. So it's going to curve up, and then there's going to be an asymptote. And it's going to somehow be something like that. Why don't we use uh, Desmos to see what this looks like? OK, so our good friend Desmos is here. And you can see we punched into uh, Desmos y equals negative root x over x minus 3 all squared. And indeed, there's a vertical asymptote here. We typed in x equals 3, the purple line. And indeed, as x becomes very close to the purple line, we have negative infinity shooting down towards the bottom. Now, if we change the question not squared, but if I change this question to just become to the exponent 1, it's going to change. So you can see I erased the square here. And now this question has changed. And you can see this is coming up uh, from the left. The left-hand limit is going to be positive infinity, whereas the right-hand limit is going to be negative infinity. So the question changes depending on whether we include the square or not on the bottom.